Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we will be seeing how to take an RMAN backup of a database. The RMAN is the recommended tool uh, for taking the physical backup of the database and it is the recommended tool from Oracle as well. So, when um, RMAN, uh, it's, it's since RMAN is, is built in with the Oracle kernel, that means you don't have to do any additional configuration to enable RMAN. So, we'll see how to take an RMAN back. The first point to be noted is that if you have enabled flash back area or flash recovery area, and if you have not specified any location uh, to take the backup while running the RMAN backup, the, the default location for the RMAN backup will be the flash recovery area. So in our case, we will be see what, what is our flash recovery area and we will see how the backup is going to that flash recovery area. In another session, we will be seeing how to take the RMAN backup to a non-standard location or else uh, it will be taking, uh, we will be seeing how to take the RMAN backup to our own specified location. So let's connect to the database and see what is our flash recovery area. We have a database. Here we can see that there is a database called Prime is there and we will see what is the flash recovery area for this particular database and once the location is confirmed we will be taking the RMAN backup as well. I will connect to the database, show parameter, recover. Here you can see that the db underscore recover underscore fire underscore dust equal to it is enabled to uh, y sheet 11.2.0 flash recovery area and db recovery file destination size is 4.9 gb. Now let's invoke rman utility. Now the backup a few terminology the backup of the database uh, the backup of the database uh, is uh, known as or, or otherwise the database whose backup we are taking is known as a target database so the first thing is that we have to from rman utility we have to connect to our target database and all the connection to the rman uh, to the target database for the backup will be taken with the sysdb privilege so only the users who got the sysdb privilege can connect it to the target database and take the backup we'll show the command connect target forward slash so here it means that we are connecting to the database uh, our target database target database is the database about which we are taking the backup so we are connecting to the target database with the operating system authentication that's the reason we have given the forward slash and here we can see that we have connected the target database uh, with the target database name is prime and it got a dbid that is d uh, a unique identification number that is 4065914626 now let's take the backup database You can see that Arman is taking the backup of all the data files. There are uh, four data files are there. One is system.dbf, sysox, uh, 01.dbf, undo tbs.dbf, and user01.dbf. And you can see that Arman is using the target database control file for storing the backup information. It's, it's evident from the line using target database control file instead of the recovery catalog. That means RMAN can store the information about the backup on two locations. One is the uh, one the location or the default location is the control file of the target database and other one is at a separate schema known as recovery catalog. Here you can see that the SID name, uh, the, uh, the connect, uh, SID ID or SID number for this connectivity is 52 and the backup is being taken to the disk. Now you can see that the backup piece information is going to flash recovery area that is by slash 11.2.0 flash recovery area prime and then there is another folder backup set and again another folder with the date at which uh, the, it has taken. So you can see that the database backup, there are two types, two backup pieces has been created. 
one backup is contained in the backup of the data files and then another backup is which contains the information or which contains the backup of the control file and the sp file now we can go to this location it's a command host ls-ltr you can see that there are two backup pieces being created one first backup piece contains the backup of all the data files and the second backup piece contains information about the or the backup of the sp file and the control file suppose if you want to take the backup of the database plus the arc log file the command will be backup Okay, to take the backup of the database plus the arc log file, we can issue the command backup database plus arc log. So here, here you can see that Arman is taking all the backup of all the backup of the, all the arc log file which has not been backed up yet and then once that is completed it will be taking the backup of the data files the location of the archaeolog backup also will be the same location as that of the data files now the backup is completed hope this is the session is clear for you guys thank you